when this fairy is going to be a review on the U tan after dark tarbo mousse now first off i love this stuff and it's clever what did they just test to review this product i literally was on the this tan so didn't turn it as dark as it usually would if it was just used in the mini bottle which is my fault because i should have done this review sooner rather than later but it was kind of my fault but the packaging first of all it's gorgeous i love the gold and the black and the just dark it's just gorgeous with the writing and all. It just looks really, really elegant and just gorgeous, beautiful packaging. Now the colour is definitely like it, it does say what it does in the tin or a bottle, whatever. It just turns your tan, your tan. It turns your skin a good. It turns your skin a beautiful, like dark brown colour. It's just beautiful. I love it. It's so dark. And I'm naturally pale. I'm Nancy Tan and Mac, which is when I have no tan on. So to get a tan it turns me like a good kind of like NC40 even more. I love it. Give me it, give me it, give me it. So the price of this tan is £22 or £24. The link where you can get it down below. You can get it obviously from the UTAN website and also from Superdrug online and in stores. I did that. I did buy this in Superdrug so I did get it in store and I got it a couple of months ago. But I definitely will repurchase it. But yeah, it's a really, really good tan. Now, the only con, which is kind of like it can be worked with, it definitely can be worked with, is that it does dry skin out or it can do. So, if you have a dry skin type and you want a tan, I'd either avoid this tan or really moisturize the heck out of your skin. Like, so, obviously, do the same steps as you would with any tan exfoliate, moisturize, especially your dry areas, then apply your tan, then wash it off in the shower like after eight hours overnight whatever moisturize the heck out of your skin and your tan will look beautiful but i find if there's been times where i haven't like moisturized my skin and it just didn't turn out as well but still it looks gorgeous like but it just works a lot better if your skin's moisturized and i would definitely recommend if you have an oilier skin type to go for that tan because it'll not it'll like sit well on your skin so it definitely is made for an oilier skin but if you are dry you can work with it so it does like take it about eight hours to develop the full tan which i never wash it off i just never listen to express tan like the information will never wash tan off after an hour like to leave it on for like the maximum amount of time and wash it off so usually like i would wear it throughout the day like a plant in the morning and afternoon wear it like overnight and then just wash it off the next morning early evening or a plant in the evening and just wash it off the next day but i just love this tan like the only thing is it just I need to like really moisturize your skin which isn't much of an issue because you should be moisturizing your skin anyway but yeah now the longevity of this tan does last a good three to four days around four days but you have to like keep up with the maintenance like you just can't like wash it off and go you have to moisturize your skin and exfoliate like throughout that time period or it does it has a tendency to go kind of patchy which isn't like it can be a bit of a chore but if you're willing to work for it like work with it you can get a beautiful result with it like i definitely do recommend it i will repurchase it i have a new one out which is like a cherry like turban waist which i am going to get definitely but i do love this tan like it is a good like color I just wish it was a bit more moisturizing that's what i'm trying to say and a well clipped a well cut to like where like i've applied it like before during and after and I'll show you what it looks like. I do use a mitt, like one of them kind of mitts with the glove, like the, not a glove, like the wee fun one, like the baby old tan mitt, but it's dirty, so I'm not gonna show you it, but you will see it in them clips, which I will cue to you now. So here's what my legs look like before I apply the tan, and also my arms too, like obviously I've still got some tan on, like the majority of it is scrubbed off. Here's a close up of the mitt and the uh, tan and mousse, the U-tan turbo mousse. And then here's another close up about the bottle and all the information and you can see the whole bottle what it looks like. And the mitt is be bold mitt. And then here's what it looks like. It's a nice dark brown colour but it isn't very 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 dark. You can tell it's starting to run out and then here's after on my legs. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope I didn't ramble too much which I did. Let's <laughs> just be real I'll do ramble. So I'll see you again in the next one. Stay gorgeous. Bye.